In this video, I'll show you how to create your own screen recordings and software simulations of any application in Articulate Storyline. You'll learn the best settings and which screen recording mode is best for your situation. Hi, I'm Mark Sperman from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. So what I've got over here is an empty Storyline project. And I'm going to show you how to record your screen in Articulate Storyline 3 and Articulate Storyline 360. There are several ways to start the screen recording tool in Articulate Storyline. In Story View you can click on the Re Record Your Screen button on the Home tab or go to the Slides tab and click on record screen over there. But before you can capture your screen, you have to think about the size of your recording and the slide size of your project. You can find the slide size of your project on the design tab under the option story size. It's better to have a slide size that is larger than your recording size because you know your recording size will fit your screen. If your recording size is larger than your slide size, you have to reduce the width and the height of the screen recording and that has the disadvantage that your screen recording is at a lower quality. Which slide size and recording size is best in your situation depends on the application that you're gonna record. In this video I'm gonna record Microsoft Word. Therefore I choose a slide size of 1280 pixels in width by 960 pixels in height. I recommend playing around a bit to find the best slide and recording size for your situation before you record your screen capture. Now we have set the right story size we can record our application. So go to slides and click on record your screen. Storyline hides itself and shows a frame on your computer that you can move around and resize to fit the application that you want to record. Now in the control bar you have the red button to record. If you click this, Storyline will count to from 3 to 1 and you can start your recording. Next to this it is your volume meter. You can also select your microphone or disable sound if you want to. The next option is to set the width and the height of the Storyline recording frame on your screen. Standard it shows the same width and height as your slide size, but you can adjust the width and height or snap it to an application by selecting select a window. You can also hover over your application and select which part you want to record. If you click the gear icon you can see some keyboard shortcuts, the selected microphone and speakers and two other options. I have the first option always checked and I only check the second option when I have to switch between application while recording. Now we've seen all settings, let's click the red button and record something. In Microsoft Word I type is lorem and click enter on my keyboard. Now you see three paragraphs of dummy text appear and let's make the first paragraph bold. When I'm finished recording I can, I can click the escape key on my keyboard or click done beneath the storyline frame. Storyline will now render the screen recording and load it in Storyline. Storyline shows automatically the insert slides window. You can import your screen recording in four different modes in Storyline. As a video on a single slide, in view mode, try mode or test mode. If you insert your screen recording as a video on a single slide, Storyline shows it as an mp4 file on your slide. You can't edit elements in the screen recording, but what you can do is add extra elements on your slide. If you insert your screen recording in view mode, Storyline breaks up the, the actions in the screen recording on different slides. Storyline places captions on the slide with explanation of the actions that are executed. In Trout, a user can practice a series of steps. It's an ungraded assessment in Storyline. A Storyline places hotspots on the slide that a user must click. Storyline provides also a hint feedback if a user clicks the wrong place or a correct feedback if a user clicks the right spot. But there is no score. The test mode is almost the same as try mode, but now the assessment is graded. Storyline automatically places a result slide at the end of the scene where the screen recording is put in. You can choose if you want to import the screen recording slides in a new or existing scene and what the name of this scene should be. Now you can think, can I only choose one of the four options and must I do my recording again to import one of the other options? No, fortunately not. On the slide step, click on the drop down icon next to the record screen button and here you can select the screen recording you've earlier made. 
When you click the screen recording, Storyline shows the insert window again, and you can put in uh, another mode. In view, try or test mode, you can add extra elements on the slides or insert your own slides between the sc screen recording slides. You even have more specific editing options on your slides. Click anywhere on a screen recording slide with your right mouse and select action fine tuning. With these options, you can change the starting and end frames for each slide in a step-by-step -step screen recording. This is particularly useful when you need to cut out errors, other forms of clutter, or remove an unnecessary step. Here's how you can do this. Drag the starting and ending markers along the timeline until you've selected the clip that you want to keep. For either greater position, select Update, Start Frame or Update End Frame in the lower left corner and then click the Previous Frame and Next Frame buttons to move the starting or ending points along the timeline one frame at a time. You can use the Play or Pause button to preview what the slide will look like with your changes. And if you want to undo the changes you've made, click Reset Original Time. And you can fine tune other slides without closing or reopening the editor. Use the drop down at the top of the window or click previous slide or next slide. And use the slide selector to fine tune other slides. And when you're finished, click OK to close the editor window. If you want to build your articulate storyline skills, then make sure you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how to create engaging e-learning in articulate storyline in less time. And I will know for sure it will help you because it shows you my exact process that I'll use for every e-learning module that I built in Articulate Storyline. You can, you can find my free guide on artworkonlinelearning.com slash free guide. And if this video was useful to you, then hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel by clicking subscribe and clicking the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos that I publish every Thursday on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day.